Hi everyone. Today we'll discuss about the topic sitting arrangement. Now let me come to the introduction of this topic. Now in this the chapter questions on sitting arrangements are asked. Now questions can be either in the form of circular arrangement or linear arrangement etc. In these questions are asked in examinations like CAT, Math, CT, SNAP etc. Now in this certain conditions are given and candidates are required to follow the conditions and arrange the things either in a row or in a circular order following a proper sequence. Now sitting arrangement can be in the form of a circular table or in a row. Now there are certain conditions again in a row. In a row means facing, there are subparts facing north, facing south like it will be mentioned in the questions. So and so, so many persons are seated in a row facing south, facing north, facing east or facing west. So accordingly, according to the given conditions you have to arrange them okay now other than this apart from circular table or arrangements in a low row or linear arrangements there is arrangement like a rectangular arrangement arrangement can be in the form of rectangular table square table dash anything can be there then you have the arrangement of a book shelf, books kept in a shelf. Now then you have questions based on you know houses adjacent to each other or floors in a lift, anything. Houses and number of arrangements can be there. All you have to do is you have to follow the conditions which are given and arrange the things either in, in the row or in the circular order or in the proper sequence which can be any one among these okay